Hi, welcome to Blue Prism Tutorials. My name is Amir. In this session, we will learn about queue management and also we will see how to create a work queue in System Tab. First of all, we will see an example for queue. This is the example of customer bank process to avail different services. If the customer needs to withdraw or deposit an amount from their account, first what will he will do? First, the customer reach to the branch of the bank. Then he will fill the withdraw or deposit form by filling the details. Next, he will reach the counter or the bank employee with the filled form. Then finally, once the withdraw or deposit done, customer leaves the bank. This is the happy pause scenario. What will happen if the number of customers increased in bank? Obviously, workload will increase on the bank employees as well as waiting time of the customer will increase and bank cannot provide proper services. This is where queue management come in, comes into picture. Queuing is the process of moving customers in a specific sequence to a specific service according to the customer needs. Queue management works on the first in first out concept. The above process is the same except token management. The first the customer reaches to the branch of the bank and then first he will get a token by using user interaction and then he will fill his form or withdraw form. Then he will reach to the counter and once the withdrawal has been completed the customer leaves the branch. So there is no waiting time. The services will be available you know, based on the first in first out bank will perform very easily. In the same way, if the data to the particular process has been increased, the inflow of the data has been increased, the process cannot manage itself. In this case, that we are going to work with the work queues. So I, I'm going to relating the bank and the business pro, blue prism over here with the concept. The customers is nothing but the data or the case. We'll call it as each and every row as the case in our blue prism. The bank is nothing but the process. Queue management, nothing but work queues based on the first in first out concept. Next services, it is nothing but the business logic. Work done, we'll make it as mark as complete. And the next customer, it is nothing but get next item. The token ID is nothing but item ID. Now let me switch to Blue Prism Virtual Workforce. Now we are in the system tab. And if you see over here on the left hand side, we are having the workflow. Under the workflow, we are having work queues. This is where we are going to create the queues. A work queue is an internal configurable list that enables a process to manage its workload. A process can use different work queues and a work queue can be shared by multiple processes if required. A work queue provides the following features. First, multiple machines can work from the same queue at the same time, each retrieving different cases to work. Second, an individual case can be marked as complete if it has been worked satisfactory, or even marked as an exception if it cannot be completed. Third, Queued work can be monitored and maintained from the control room. Fourth, work queue feature provides this functionality to, st to store, manage, share, and report on process work. Now we will see how to create a queue. Now, as I said, go to system, go to workflow, next go to work queues. Now you can see by default we are having the queue details over here. The name that is Q1 that has been given. We can change the name as any name as, as we require. I'm just giving customer Q. Next, this is the key name. On which basis that I need to uh, check it out the Q details on the Q name. Actually, this is, will be the column names that we will give based on working on the sheet or the database that we will work it out. Then I'm just giving as item ID. This is not the mandatory as of now. And if you see the maximum attempts, if there is any exceptions, in that case, how many times that have to retry the mechanism. So in that case, we can increase the maximum number of attempts. Okay, then this is the status. Status is nothing but the 
Q is in has to be in running status or in pass status. If you want to pass the Q for a while, then it, you can go ahead and you can pass the Q. But here you can see the status by default, it is in running status. Encrypted, if you want to, the keys, what are the keys you have given out there? If you want to, if you want to encrypt the format, then you can go ahead and you can encrypt the details. Okay, as of now, this is the way how we are going to create it. We are not talking about the active queues as of now. Then if you go ahead and simply go ahead and save the detail. You are just clicking on the apply. Now you can see the name has been changed to customer queue. Okay, now we are going to discuss about the queue management tab. So where we can manage all these queues. Now go to control and you can see the queue management tab under the control. Now, if you see automatically the customer queue, you got the details already. So whichever we have created in the system tab under the work queues, the same details you can find it out over here in the queue management. Under queue management, you will find that queues. Now we will discuss about the queue management tab. Queue management tab in the control room provides the operational user interface to works for work queues. The tab is divided into two. If you see over here, we are having two tabs one is list of the in the one of the tab we can see the list of the queues this is the upper upper tab that we can see over here you can find all the list of the queues and the lower half will the list of the items of the queues okay if there is any items has been provided in the queue then you can see at the runtime this or will be available you can see over here in the list of the items you can see item key okay and the priority based on the priority and the status tags resources and the number of attempts we can see you know in the system tab we have increased the number of attempts correct the same way how many number of attempts has been done in the particular for the particular item we can see over here these are all the details what we are having in the queue management tab in this session we have seen how to create a work queue and also we have discussed about the queue management tab. In the next session, we'll work with the work queues. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any queries related to this concept, please post them in the comment section.